Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the reselling white boy. My name's John Luke and I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. So today we're up in a loft um, and we're just gonna show you the photo shoot process. So taking the photos of the items, show some items that I'm taking some photos of. And yeah, just showing you the space I'm working in and um, what's getting listed and what's getting sold in you know times like this. So yeah, stay tuned. Firstly, I'll do a quick tour of what I'm working with, my storage and, you know, the process. Um, obviously, I'm working in the loft, so I'm quite confined. I'm doing up the shed in the future. So, yeah, I'm going to get some videos done for that in the future. It's literally, it's quite a big shed. Um, but, yeah, it just needs a lot of work done. Insulation, drywall. I'm going to turn it into an office storage space. Kind of like a storage container, but obviously in the garden. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the photo station. So, we got a big light up top and then box lights couple of leds and um, they're not really needed with the box light but just adds a little bit of something else um just got the mac there i normally have something on podcast whatnot um window got some more stuff that we're going to be photographing but yeah basically scales and stuff in here i know we used to have some industrial scales they broke so we've literally got really poor scales at the minute but we'll get some new ones soon bit of packaging so i'll do the packaging on here as well when i move into the shed i'm gonna get a separate station for photographing and packaging because it's just so much easier uh, from what i've heard so yeah some of the stuff we're taking i'll talk you through that in a minute um got the infamous 8080 that took a while to build but yeah this is what i'm working with at the moment so we've got a few racks getting quite empty um lots of stuff lots and lots and lots of stuff got some retail arbitrage r8 in that corner um so a lot of kylo ren costumes star wars figures a lot of the media on here normally it's games and dvds here books on here but it's just been a bit of chaos recently so we've got the wii games up there for now that silver stuff uh is pretty good stuff it needs a good clean um and i might do that test what nick uh, he did a live show with what was he called is it edward um the antiques guy so yeah i might do that for that but it does look pretty good it's a decent set it's only missing a little top to one of the uh, uh bloody hell tea tea cups oh, i couldn't even tell you <laughs> right so yeah in there all my clothes that i listed folded nicely obviously it's a bit of a nightmare to get out obviously with me going into the shed i'm going to change a lot of the how i store stuff most of this is listed what's on the floor is unlisted everything else is listed yeah so we've got lots and lots and lots um so yeah i'm just working through this generally along with the clothes that i've got downstairs at the minute uh from my previous videos got soft toys and whatnot in there nice little n64 box in the back but yeah really squashed up there's my printer, nice and old. Hate it to death. Gonna get a new printer soon, and I need to get a label printer also. But yeah, just to show that you don't, obviously, you do need a big space, but I'm working in pretty much solitary confinement up here, and um, we're making it work. All right, take you back around, and then we'll get into the items. All right, I'll just talk you through what I've got on the table for now, and then I'll get onto a few of these other bits. So first one, Godfather collection on VHS, brand new and sealed. So it's in the leather case. Um, this cost me ten pounds from RSPCA. I did pay up on it, but I've been seeing when I researched it a week or two ago. When I did get a couple of weeks now, um, this leather set used was getting ten to fifteen. So I'm thinking brand new, you can kind of push that price up. So I'll aim top end with that. I'm gonna have to have, to have another research with it, but you know one to look out for um next got halo 4 new and sealed just getting rid of a few of these games that have been if a couple of years i've had some of these f24 stealth fighter not great money in some of these little big planet uh that's hip-hop abs uh there used to be a lot of money in these not as much anymore i uh, remember ben fitzpatrick talk about that one uh just a gta title little wii title just dance on the wii and then Xbox original game bundle I'm going to do. So Ice Age 2, Dark Angel, Fight Night, True Crime. Just a um, couple pound games. Only because I do collect these games. But these have got no manuals. So I just thought I'd do a little bundle. Bundle of those. Uh, next we have got these golf shoes. These were 5 dollars uh, These were brand new with a tag on. 
not 100% sure the brand, but yeah, they're in nice brand new condition. I'm not sure who needs golf shoes in a minute, but I'm sure someone will snap them up. Next one, interesting. It's a heat lamp um, for a home, a Philips one. It's like a really hot red lamp. I'm not sure if it's just, it's used for like healing and stuff like that. But with people, then people who go on the sunbeds all the time, they'll be like, oh, I'll get one of them heat lamps. So you never know. I think it weren't much money in it, but probably about £15. I think I paid £4 for it, so not great money in it. But these might have taken a little bit of a spike. I've not searched recently. But yeah, just one of those things that might take a little spike along with like Nintendo Wii's and, and whatnot. Next one, we've just got a 2002 Commonwealth game mascot soft toy. It's got his tag on. So about 10 to 15 on that. Probably be a slow seller. Little Simba. I've had this for a few years. Just pulled him out. Furry Tail King Louie. Uh, Disney one again. Got his tag. Not looked at this one, but that was 199 Can't really go wrong with Disney teddy bears. Especially when they got the tag. This one is a Lapland UK dog. I think when I searched him up, he was about £20. Pound. Uh, that's 2 99 on there. So yeah, really nice. Good condition. I think that's where his tag used to be. So he's not really been played with. Nice and uh, fresh. Next one, I got him in the bundle of soft toys where I got um, the Nightmare Before Christmas one. And I got a lot so bear and whatnot. £15 I paid for the lot. Uh, so this is Pluto. Yeah, how could I forget? But yeah, nice condition, really soft. Got the stamp on. Next one might be a bit of a fail. This was £7.50. I paid. Uh, it was half price. And it's a USB 3.0 SSD converter. The, I, I thought because it's branded it might be good. Um, but I think by easy is just like a really... Just a non-brand brand kind of thing. Um, I'll be able to... I won't lose any money on it. But I thought there might be a bit more money in it. Um, I'll have to take a closer look at that. But I'll keep you posted on that one. It's the same shop that I got them brand new card games, that Ion card game and that um, dungeon one. So yeah, just took a punt on that because I knew there was profit and everything else. Um, next one, bit of a fail as well. When I saw this Transformers Blu-ray, it's got like a figure, like a pop-out figure. Thinking, yeah, there's got to be some money in that. Because sometimes I just go off gut instinct. Two pound I paid. I think ten pound tops. But I might, if it's anything less than that, I might just keep it because I do have a Blu-ray collection. So I'm thinking. For what it's worth, may as well just keep it. So I'm going to photo all this stuff now, get it out of the way, and then I'll set the next lot up, and then we'll talk through that. This week, honestly, I've got to chill. I'm, I, I need it mentally. This Oh man, oh, I'm not, I'm happy, I'm really happy, I'm really happy, I'm, I'm really, really happy, I'm not, I, I didn't just sigh there. Okie dokie, so I've taken the pictures of what I've just shown you, so I'm going to get the next lot out and um, talk you through it. Currently got Zaheer on over there. Uh, from his live hangout yesterday when he was packing orders, um, so yeah, just catching up on that. Show you the next lot. Just thought I'd give you a little sneak peek of what I've sold today. Uh, I'm going to do a sales update video in the coming days, but just a little sneak peek. So we've got a Ravensden Monkey. We've got a Sherlock Holmes game. We've got a Frankenweenie Soft Tie DVD Bundle for 18. Uh, Hugo Boss Christmas Jumper for 35. Mother Goose Soft Tie, uh, that was 18. And then Mario Kart Wii with two steering wheels. That was 45. And then just a Nest Cafe mug uh, bundle. That was twelve ninety nine. I've had them for a few years now. Um, just in the death pile, so good to see them go. So, yeah, pretty good sales today. Um, them couple were yesterday, the first, yeah. A couple of them were the first. From that Hugo Boss jumper today. I think we're currently sitting on 20 to 6. So we're not doing too bad um, with sales today. Okie dokie, so let's get into the next lot. Uh, it's a lot bit messy over here but give it a go so we've got a bundle of uh cassette tape audio books so there's not fantastic money on these i'm uh, just going to get rid of them they were in the death pile for a while uh, i've sold a couple in the past what are these so we got 
police department murder one another mystery one um my darcy's diary so i might throw them in a bundle of four they, they look pretty similar genre um someone will want them next we have got this is a jaguar car uh, this was two pound it was from that half price sale that i spoke about in the past so we've already made the money back off these cars anyway it's brand new and sealed this one i can't see much on it it's the atlas collection so I don't know where to open it, see what car it is and sell it as that. Or just sell it as a, a blind box. So yeah, I'm going to have a look into that. Next one is this SL1963. Is Mercedes? Yeah, Mercedes. So yeah, don't think there's great money in that. Because I've already so, um, listed the best ones out of the bundle. Just left the, the worst ones. So, yeah, that was £2 as well. A uh, little random CD, I'm not sure. I would have picked it up for a reason, it might have a little bit of value, but yeah, that one. A few cassette tapes, probably got a few pounds in each, nothing much, I think they were like 10p each. This Warner Brothers Magnificent 7 VHS, so it's like a blockbuster one. Really cool uh, box. So yeah, that'll be over a tenner, I think. So I sold that Wii bundle, and then I've just found an official steering wheel. I've got nothing else to go with it because I've already listed, you know, um, the controllers and all sorts and the console. So I'm just going to stick that up on its own. I'm not sure the value will just on its own, but be able to get a little bit. So next we've got these puzzles. So we've got the uh, the treffle puzzles. So we've got the Star Wars, Cars, Avengers, and then a big Fireman Sam one. But I've got about six Star Wars ones, or six Avengers ones, five of those, about four of those. So I'm going to do a bundle of the three. And then bundle of the two um, for the ones that where I don't have the cars left and I'm, that's just on its own. So yeah, with puzzles and games at the minute, they are going fast. So I'm just getting them up and bad them for a while. They cost less than a pound each. I got a big bundle a while ago. Um, I've probably sold about a half and then obviously I've returned to eBay. Get rid of the other half. Um, next one, so we've got a deal and, it, don't, uh, deal and no deal board game. Pretty sure that's complete. Check that. Um, so yeah, pretty standard. I turn that on, it all works. I think with what's going on, people be wanting something like this. Uh, well, last time I looked, it was about fifteen pounds, so it might have gone up, might have gone down. Next one, catastrophe. It is a game as well, and it's basically you stack the cats. It's a bit like Jenga, but you go up <laughs> with cats. I think when they when you make it fall, that's who loses. Yeah, that was one forty nine. I just thought it was quite interesting. But you get about ten pound for that. Um, so it's brand new. It's all sealed inside. So I'll tell it was new. Uh, what have we got in here? Supreme bag. We have got lots of Skylander stuff. I think that's for three sixty. So yeah, I don't think there's much value in that anymore. But we need to get rid. So probably the best time to do so. So next item I've got Winnie the Pooh mug, Disney store. Um, I got these a couple of years ago again when Ben Fitzpatrick was selling quite a few. Just one that never got listed, so I'll pop that up. Not sure about the money, but obviously I've got my eBay store in the link below. Right, I keep getting interrupted from people down below, mum and dad. So yeah, back into it. Next one, Hocus Pocus graphic novel. Oh no, it's not a graphic novel. It's like a story. Maybe is it a script? Uh, Walt Disney. Yeah, it was a pound, so I think about ten pound in that. Nice large letter. Next one, Pasta Bomb. Need to test that one out. Simple game, really. Card game with the bomb. Make some noises and whatnot. I never played it. This really old piece of kit. Um, look at how old that computer is there. Video capture software. Uh, I'm not sure if it's all complete, but that literally cost me 20p. Um, probably nothing in that. Probably won't even photograph it, but I'll give it a check. As I said, just check my eBay. We'll see what goes up and what, for what prices. Uh, in there, loads of remotes. So you might have seen... Nick Hills make a video of remotes. So I picked these up for 10p each, I think. Car boot. Um, so yeah, tested them all out. They're all working. We'll just have to clean them up, give them a, a wash over. Next, we have got a big bag of Lego wheels. So someone will be building some cars with those, hopefully. Uh, here we've got, is it Tam Tamaris? Tamaris? Uh, Duo Tex women's boots. I think I paid... Is it 4 99 for those? I'm not sure if it's still on there. Oh, £5, yeah, £5. So, yeah, they're not in amazing shape. I think there's a little rip somewhere. A little bit of mark. 
somewhere, yeah, just a tiny bit at the top, but they've got some good money in, so, yeah, lane high with those, especially when everyone's walking about everywhere, probably want some nice boots, should have a bit cut, um, not much in that, probably seven pounds, something like that, uh, these ones are Disney, so these are Kilncraft Staffordshire England tableware, but Disney ones, like vintage, really nice, I think there's a bit more money in those. So there's a uh, Pocahontas. Yep. And the next one is... Um, is that the Lady and the Tramp? Maybe. I'm not. I am a big Disney fan, but I've not really watched many of the originals. Bit, bit more of a Pixar fan. So yeah, Made in England again. Might put them together. Um, yeah. Uh, I've gone through everything apart from... Yep. So next bit is the last bit. A little oh, bloody hell. It's a it's a, yeah. It says 22 karat gold. Ooh. Washington pottery. Got a shaky hand. Hanley England. Um so I paid two pounds for the whole set. Um, so there's been four bigger plates, one little plate. Um, when I did research them, there's some good money in them. So let me just have a quick look on my MacBook now. Just update it before I start taking the photos. So someone got £10 plus three fifty postage for four of the larger ones, I think. I think they're the larger ones. Um, so yeah, I'll just put the five together. I'll just aim for... Because so, someone got about £7 all in for one there. I think that's a smaller one. So I might just put the whole set up for about twenty four ninety nine free post. Obviously... It's not one of them quick sellers. They actually sold on the same day. Same seller in it. So that's the four big plates. That's the one little one. So yeah, same buyer would have bought them too. So in total, they did get about, uh, bloody hell, maths. About £20 all in on bids. So I might aim for 25 or 30 um, all in. And I'll just bring the price down. Probably take an offer. But yeah, one to look out for. Right, I knew there was one thing that I forgot. So it was this Shrek Game Castle. The box is beat up. But it cost me a pound, it does say checked. So we'll have a quick look at this before we take the photos of everything. We'll have a quick look in here, see what it's made of, see what see what it looks like. Um, there's not many on eBay. Last time I checked, there wasn't any on. Um, we'll have a quick look at pricing after I have a look inside anyway. So, have a look. With it, all the board games and stuff selling like hotcakes at the minute, I thought may as well get it out. Right, so this is what it looks like on top. So it's like a chessboard, checkers board type thing. Um, so it's got your Shrek, Fiona, Donkey, um, that fella, Puss in Boots. What's he called? Oh, I can't think. Uh, Gingerbread Man. Pinocchio, that's one. Right, so it's like a little draw. So pull this out. Oh, it looks good, you know. Don't look like it's been played with. Some of these are still in the bags anyway. Um four sets of cards i'm guessing so you got snap princess rummy so like jim rummy i'm guessing goldfish and crazy eights loads of little figures so they'll, they'll be like the chess pieces checkers pieces i think it's shrek versus donkey for checkers um little dominoes with gingerbread man and whatnot um little game cards for something um where you put counters on maybe. Yeah, they're the counters, aren't they? So it'd be like something like that. Um yeah, I'm not sure how I can check it all. Is this all the contents? Oh, that's just the dominoes. So, well, it looks like there's more reports. Yeah, so these are all the games. Checkers, game house, dominoes, any more, just another board. See, so, yeah, I'll check this through. Hmm, money back. I'll check this through. Um, I think, is that another game board at the bottom? I think so. That might stay in there. We have got an RPG. Um, that isn't from Shrek, but yeah, I'll take it. But we're seeing these like sealed. The checkers have never been played, so you expect all them to be inside. Um, what's that in there? A little crown. Not sure what that's for. Is there anything else in there? Another guy. Another donkey. But yeah, it's wooden. No, it's well made so yeah well, uh, i'm gonna check on ebay now before we take photos um i'll get back to you right so there's one sold there 12 pound 50 brand new um oh it's bingo that that's what it was um so yeah 12 pound 50 brand new they've accepted a best offer 550 postage so let's say they accepted a 10 pound offer so that's about 15 all in 
Um, but there's none on at the minute. That that's the only one that's sold there, and there's no no active listings. Um, so I'm just gonna hit aim high with it. You know, aim high with it. There's one there without the box, which is twenty pound or best offer with eight pound postage. So I could go twenty four ninety nine free postage or something like that. Um, there are four playable characters. Checkers have replacement counters. Wooden drawers faded. So yeah, um, let me have a look. So yeah, it's in bad nick that as well. You see there on the corners and stuff. So yeah, mine's literally brand new. Well, it's not brand new, but you see by the look of it. So yeah, they're trying to get twenty pound and eight pound for that. Um, Mr. Pike, independent trader. I'll aim high with it, get some good pictures, and um, see how we go. So yeah, I'll take all the pictures and I'll catch you in an hour or so because it's going to take a while. Right, after all that yabber about Shrek, the Shrek pieces are complete, but there's two donkeys missing. So yeah, that's a bug. That's a bugger. Um, I'll just sell it, you know, as is because it's just if I don't take pictures of it today, it'll just stick around forever. So yeah, I'll just have to sell it as incomplete. Um, see what happens. I've just had a sale actually since I turned it off. Just sold an Iron Man costume, a men's one, for fifteen pounds. Yeah, that's good. But yeah, shame really, shame because uh, it does say it's been checked. But yeah, clearly not. Right, so I managed to crack this car. Basically, it's got a number on it four six four one one zero one, um, and then on eBay, I found one at nineteen ninety nine three pound postage best offer uh, one one oh two. Uh, one of them sold for about 15 quid. So I'll just aim around 20 um, and then nick a picture online because I, obviously I don't actually have a picture of the car. Um, but yeah, there was um, ones abroad somewhere. No, I've lost them now. I'm just so glad that Nick has not bought any more car parts and he's bought Rubik's Cubes instead. I just think that's great. <laughs> uh, just currently setting up the deal. No deal picture to show you it. Uh, oh, I've already took the battery on now. Yeah. Right, it's nearly seven o'clock now. Um, got a few bits that I haven't photoed, but I'm burnt out. I need to go and get something to eat, recharge a little bit before I edit this and start listing. Um, so yeah, just got a few bits left, not too much. I'll just flip it. So yeah, just the phone, some audio books. I couldn't get this sticker off, so I'm not going to take my time doing that. Um, I saw that another day. Some tapes, a couple of bits, but I've done quite a lot. Um, that cut there, the steering wheel, so nothing major. The phone needs a clean, so it's stuff that's needs a little bit of attention so done most of it so if you enjoyed today's video guys leave a like leave a comment if you enjoyed this type of video and um, i will make more in the future i know it's not high quality and i don't have a head cam on i'm not doing all sorts like that but i will improve in the future um so yeah leave a like leave a comment and i'll see you next time